Hi everybody. Jean Ketchum, aging but dangerous. This is hysterical. I just got a call from my good friend. Um, <clears throat> I keep trying so hard to do the, uh, you know, to do this on the computer so they don't have to sit and hold this phone. Um, but anyway, it is what it is. I've got to smooth down my hair. Hi everybody. Boy, you know, what a weekend, huh? I mean, it's just, I don't even know what to say to you all this morning. We live in Minneapolis and we're in a high-rise building on the 21st floor and it can, uh, you can see everywhere uh, throughout the, the city and suburbs. And I got up, you know, Saturday morning um, and there were like, I counted 12 fires going on. We saw the flames. They were in all parts of the city. Um, it just was, it, it was like we were in war. It was like a bomb had hit. Oh, it's just so tragic, so tragic. Oh, just, I think all of us are just numb with all of it. But, uh, you know, I just think we have to just try. You know, here it is Monday morning. We have to pick ourselves up. And <laughs> my old saying was, you know, we've got to pick ourselves up by our bootstraps and get going. Um, I, you know, we just, I, I have one saying that, you know, I have a lot of philosophies that I live by and a lot of things that I um, say, little tidbits. And one of my philosophies is, that I've always had it all my life, is that you've got to take care of yourself because no one is going to do it for you. I mean, I've got a husband I've been married to for 58 years. And of course he'll take care of me if I'm sick or if, you know, whatever. But spiritually and, and within our soul, you know, we have to do it ourselves. We have to get ourselves together because no one else will do it. So I just think that we have to really uh, work on that. I know I have to. And I, I still think, to me, one of the best things in the world uh, to do when I get down and I really need something is I just call my friends and I know I keep saying that but I just after I call my friends I just feel so much better no matter what we talk about I just feel better so I do think that's to me that's really really important and uh, you know we just have to keep plugging ahead you know what else are we going to do so anyway, enough of that, but you know, do you all go through what I go through every summer where, you know, you hope and pray that you can get into the white pants that you got into last summer? Oh, it happens to me every summer. And I come very close. Um, and it's, so this year, I mean, I've gained eight pounds. So of course the pants are tight. I'm very uncomfortable. So I know this may go against all of you, and I don't know, I mean, I don't, you know, it's, it's just me. We have to do what we think we need to do. And I am going to go on that keto diet. And I don't know, you know, I mean, I hear pros and cons on it, but you know what, guys, I'm just, I've tried everything. I've tried counting my calories. I've tried... Um, I, I've just done everything, and since I'm not getting to exercise uh, that much, which, you know, I didn't exercise that much anyway, but um, I, I'm just going to try this. I just, um, I don't know what's there to lose, and I'm not going to be on it very long. I'm only going to be on it for a month because I take it, it's, uh, oh, Kevin, you're watching. Kevin, my little son-in-law, who is up in Michigan doing a thousand mile bike ride. Oh my gosh, Kevin. I mean, he's incredible. And he's uh, he's doing it all for a charity. And I wish I had the name at my fingertips, Kevin, but I don't. Anyway, um, I just think, you know, we've all got to, uh, well, I just gave him a lecture this morning on eating. He's doing all this exercise and I don't think he's eating right. So, but I just, you know, we all, our bodies are all different and I think we just have to, you know, we have to eat what, what we think is okay. So I'm just gonna try it, you know, I'll, uh, I'll keep you posted, but um, let's all hang in there together, you guys. We just, it's just so important. I know my phone is jiggling, but you know, 
let's, I'm going to take a sip. Let's really try to keep each other up and communicate and share, share your feelings. And you know, we've got to share our feelings because how else are we going to get through this? And let's just hope and pray that this, all this stuff settles down, the virus, the, the protest, the, all this stuff, it's just almost too much. I read this morning uh, where 40% uh, of the United States is over 60 years old now. That's a lot of us. That's a lot of people. That's almost half the United States. So I know there's a lot of hurting going on out there with older people. So let's hang in there. Let's help each other, you guys. And uh, I'll talk to you later this week. Have a good day. Bye.